in order to be ready for war, one must prepare for war. I, I think Kakomi said that. Kakomi is the greatest character in Genshin Impact history, and you can trust me because I am one of the five total verified Kakomi owners to walk the earth. A the Raiden Shogun Ball is a certified madman, demented even. She is a chaotic variable to any team comp she's on due to the very strict and oddly specific wording on her burst. I mean, do you see the sheer size of this bullshit? I am not reading a full-on encyclopedia to understand how this character works. Get the the fuck out of here. Kakomi, on the other hand, is an incredibly simple and easy to understand character. I, I mean, look at that, look at that. A very basic description that is very easy on the eyes, and she's also a fish. Kakomi can swim in the air and walk on water. I don't get it either. She also attacks people with bubbles. Look, it doesn't make sense, but nothing in Genshin really does, and she looks cool, so two really cares. Why, why do I have to justify this to myself? Just shut up. Kakomi is a Hydra proc healer and a damage dealer. Thank you, thank you, I'm here all night. Also, the Raiden Shogun's rules can't rhyme like that. I think Kakomi Kakomi's main strength lies behind her hydro proccing ability. Kakomi has one of the greatest elemental skills in the game at hydro application. Her E summons a jellyfish that both heals you and applies hydro to the surrounding enemies every two seconds. However, the wet status is not applied to you. So, uh, uh, fuck off, Barbara. <laughs> The skill is great for consistent vaporize or electro charge reactions, and my personal favorite when it comes to freeze based teams. Also, it heals you for a lot. Too much even. I cannot tell you how many times this jellyfish has saved my life. Kakomi may not be able to match the awesome power of Adam Sandler, but her elemental skill alone is more than capable of procking consistent hydro based reactions. Now, her burst, on the other hand, does not do a praiseworthy amount of damage given the necessary commitment, but neither does A the Raiden Shogun Balls, whose damage is locked behind her second constellation, which I do not have because this game fucking sucks. Now let's talk about her artifact set. Actually, never mind. Hydro, like any other element, is incredibly powerful and is only really bogged down by the fact that there are like three Hydro characters total, coupled with the fact that they are mostly comprised of sub DPS and healers plus child. But at the end of the day, that is Kakomi's job. She may not be the next big broken DPS character, but her ability as a support can reach incredible heights and some players may legitimately need that. At the end of the day, Genshin is not a hard game. Just roll who you want. You'll be better off that way. Probably.